Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial. This video tutorial is about strength exercises so that you can improve your balance. But I got to do a little disclaimer first. I'm not a healthcare professional. I am just an ordinary guy doing a tutorial on what works for me. This tutorial are an illustration of exercises that I do for myself and they work for me. If you feel that uh, you uh, are not capable of doing these or you'd like to do them but not sure, consult with your healthcare professional and get professional opinion first. But if you do try them and you like them, let me know. All right, let's get started. This is going to be a floor exercise. Obviously, I'm down on the floor. All right. So we're going to start off. I've got a nice pillow like, you know, behind me here just for comfort more than anything. And I'm laying flat on the ground. And we're just going to do some simple exercises. We're going to do some that we've already done. And then we're going to build on those and make some easier, make some harder. So let's start off with some real easy exercise. We're going to take our hands, we're going to cup them, and we're going to put it in behind our head. Not on, not on our neck, just behind the head. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift the head up and then down. Up, then down. Up, hold, one, two, three, and down and rest. We can go and do it up, one, two, three, four, five, or we can go to 10, we can go to 50, we can go to 100. Do what you feel is comfortable. All right, that's exercise number one, okay? Another exercise that we can do, place our hands further towards our neck. And we're gonna do the same exercise. Lift up, lift, come down. Up and down, up and down up and down and that's all there is to that exercise another exercise that we can do while we're in this position is one that uh, is just taking our head from a comfort position and go to the left go to the right go to the left go to the right and do that as many times as you can as well those are easy exercises that we can all do. In a previous video, we talked about another exercise where we took our feet, brought them closer to our butt, put our knees up, and what we're going to do is we're going to elevate the, the, the butt and we're going to have this part of the body at the same angle as this part of the body. So right now I've got an angle here. I want to make it straight. So you can, if you feel that you need more balance, put your arms out further. But if you want to challenge that balance, put your arms closer into your body. So it's lift and down, lift and down. Make it harder, lift. One, two, three, and rest. Want to make it even harder? Lift. One, two, three, four, five. Down and rest. And we can count to five, we can count to 10, we can count to 50, we can count to 100. Do what you feel is a number that you can do. If it becomes too hard, stop. The key to these exercises to do these multiple times a day, every single day. So let's go back to an exercise that we did on the previous video. We lifted our butt up and we held it there. Why we're holding it there, we lifted our leg up and we held it at the angle of the other leg. And it should be like straight. I don't know if I'm straight or not. Uh, well, it's as straight as I can get it. And then we go down. And we can put that uh, exercise onto the other leg. So we go up, out, and 
push the butt up. Push the butt up. Now, if you want to make this even more difficult, take your foot and point it. Oh, I can feel this on this leg here. I am really feeling the uh, the burn. Okay, and that's good. That's good. Nothing wrong with that. So, another exercise that we can do that's simple from this uh, from this position. We'll take our hands. We'll cup them again, but this time we'll bring our knee up and we'll put our cupped hands in front of the knee and we'll pull towards our body. Pull. Release, pull, release, pull, release. Make it harder, pull, hold. One, two, three, release. Pull, one, two, three, four, five, release. Count to five, count to 10, count to 50, count to 100. You do what you can do. If it hurts, stop. But just remember, there's going to be a certain amount of resistance of the body because it hasn't done these exercises. And we can do the same thing with this leg. Cup the fingers together, grab it in front of the knee, pull towards the body, hold, one, two, three, release, pull, one, two, three, four, five, and release. And that's pretty much it for that exercise. That's an easy one to do. Let's do a real easy one. Put our legs straight out. Put your hands close to the body, as close as you want. Uh, my thumbs are touching, but my fingers aren't. And what you're going to do now is you're going to squeeze your butt cheeks. Squeeze your butt cheeks. Squeeze your butt cheeks. Squeeze your butt cheeks. One, two, three, release. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, release. Count to five, count to ten, count to fifty, count to a hundred. Do what you can. All right, another exercise that we can do from this position. We're going to squeeze our butt cheeks together, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to roll from one cheek, lifting one cheek up onto the other one. Back to the rest position, roll to the other cheek, lift the cheek up and hold and then back to the rest position. All right, so let's do that. Squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, rest. Squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, rest. Now you can do an alternate uh, exercise from that. You can squeeze and just go back and forth. I'm shifting the weight from one cheek to the other. That's all I'm doing. And you can go back to that exercise again if you want. Lift, down, lift, down. Another exercise that we can do, which I like to do, put your knees up. Get into a nice comfortable position and this time what we're going to do is we're just going to put the leg out, point the toe outwards. So I got it there, point and then go straight out. Point, point and leave it in the pointed position as you're doing it. Just go back and forth back, forth, maybe even hold it there. Hold it as, as close to the ground as you can without touching the ground. And then come back again. Hold it there. Don't rest. Hold it above the, uh, the ground and then rest. Shift it over to the other leg. Same thing. Go from this position or the foot, point, go outwards. In, out, in, out. Now my knees crack when I'm doing this. All right, keep the uh, foot pointed up and leave it pointed up. That's another exercise that they can, you can do. Really quite good, nice exercise, I have to admit. 
Well, that's a, a lot of exercises that we can do from one position. Now, let's go to one that's really, really difficult. I'm not 100% there, but when I first started, I couldn't do this. I couldn't do one. Now I can do a couple. The more I do it, the more I'll be able to do. What is the exercise? Well, we start off in this position where the knees are up. And what we're going to do is we're just going to lift the feet up and then straighten the legs out. Come back to the knees bent, but don't, don't go to the rest position. Do that back and forth. So let's see how we go. Now, I'm not going to talk because I'm going to be straining here. All right, so I'm going to lift up. I'll try and talk through this. All right, so. Oh, the burn, the burn, the burn. I can feel that in my belly. I can feel that in the thighs. Oh, oh I can feel it in the hips. And I can feel it in the lower back as well. Oh my goodness, and try and get down as low to the ground as you can. Now I can't see how, how far down I am or how far up I am, but let's see. Wow. Oh, this isn't bad. Like I said, this is the most I've done. Holy cow. It's getting easier. It doesn't sound like it from my voice, but actually it's not bad. I can feel it pulling. Jeez, I might end up with a six pack yet. Holy cow. I'll be satisfied with a two pack. Oh, wow, rest. That really plays in on your lower back. Now the lower back is also part of your balance. So don't ignore it. All right, gang, that's the exercise for like, you know, today. The next uh, exercise I'm going to do is getting up off the floor. I'm going to lose uh, the top part of my body because the camera is facing only for the, the bottom part. But I want to say thank you for joining me on this video and I hope that you really do these exercises every day. The more you do, the easier they become. All right, so thanks again, gang. All right, roll over to the side, up, and look at that couldn't do that a few short weeks ago.